What's up guys, it's 7.30. I'm making the walk again to the visa office. This is my fourth time now there. Hopefully, today's the day I get the visa. I'm really, really nervous about it. Hopefully the next thing you see is me coming out with a visa, so. Whew. I got a residence permit, which means that I can play pro soccer here in Germany for at least until the until April. So I'm so, so happy about that. I can't wait. Um, and then all I have to do is come April, just really apply for the full visa and get it for maybe a year or two years. So I'm just really, really pumped. Really happy worked out. That was honestly one of the most tough things I've ever done in my life just to try to get a... Uh, try to get a visa so that was that was pretty crazy but yeah I got it so I'm happy I want to show you my goals in my journal from over a year ago and I was looking back at it and it's pretty cool and so if you look here this is okay you won't believe me since I made the five like that and messed up but I don't know it's at the very beginning of the book and I wouldn't write like all this shit just to do this but this is from February 1st 2015 and if you look at my I have the whole thing that I wrote if you look at my goals goal for one year so that's what it stands for goal, goal today triple day chest train abs goal for the week work possible leads goal for the month get a team goal for the year is to get a pro contract and this is on February 1st, 2015. So that was one year and one week ago. So I don't know, that like really is cool to me. That I wrote that goal down almost a year ago and I can see that from back in February. This is really cool. It's just really cool to see that. From where I was last year to where I am now, it's a big difference. And it just shows that like you grow and you put down these goals and you continually just keep on reaching them and you keep pushing and pushing. And when you have a goal on paper, it just makes it so much better. And so you can see it every day that that's what you want. That's what your ultimate goal is. So I don't know. It's pretty cool. It, it's really cool. So I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> I, I'm sorry if I seem really flustered right now, but it's, it was just a big day for me today. So I'm pretty happy about it. All right, well, I still, I don't know what to do with myself right now. I, I'm just sitting here. I've been sitting here for the last 30 minutes now. It, I haven't done anything. I'm just kind of, just trying to soak it all in. I think I'm going to go try to get a gym membership because now I'm going to be here for a pretty good amount of time.
So it's now 1.30 in the morning. Basically had an hour and a half workout. Really good. Hit legs really hard. Squats, leg press, leg extension, hamstring curls, and a lot of calves. And my legs are like shaking right now. Um, so it's, you can tell us a good workout. I uh, went a little bit lighter on all the weight just because uh, it's my really first time really coming back to the gym now after doing all the body weight stuff. So I'm just trying to work my way back in. Um, but yeah, plan is for to go back, go to sleep, and then tomorrow morning I'm moving out of the hotel. Um, I have a, like a four hour gap in between. I move out of my hotel and go move into my apartment. So I'll probably work out, grab some lunch and just kind of hang out. Um, that's the plan. I want to go to bed. Good night. What's up guys? I just got to uh, Rodgen. So this is where my apartment is. It's the one right over there. I'm on the top floor. I'll show you it when I get back to it. I just really need to run out, get some internet and get like a little mattress to sleep on and some food because there's nothing. And just look how look how German this place is. So, it's so, it's like a little tiny village. That's what they say, a little village. It's a village. It's a tiny little village out here. Pretty excited, there's not much, but it's pretty cool. So I'm excited. All right, peace. Hey, so I'm just back in my apartment now. We just had some fitness as a team. And so now I'm just back. It's like 11 at night. I'm gonna cook some dinner and I wanna show you guys around my apartment. So this is the front door that you come in. Got all my shoes and everything. Gotta have the Magistas. High top, the first ones, the OG Magistas. Got some nice leather boots, some vans, my indoors, and some more vans. I'm wearing some Roches right now. And then my, my Ace 15.1s are my bag, actually. And I got my jacket because it's freezing here. And then there are my new uh, soft ground Magistas. That's just some handsome dude, I don't, I don't know. And this door, it's just like a storage closet, I don't know. It's where I'll lock people or something. And then, so you come in through the front door and you got the kitchen right over there. You got the bathroom. Um, there's like a, a bedroom and then another room. Um, so here's the bathroom, super small, but you know, you got everything, shower, toilet, sink, all the essentials. And then here's the kitchen. Right now I'm cooking up some chicken breasts on the stove with some rice that I'm gonna cook, some brown rice. You know, you got my tons of brown rice, oil, some sauce and some salt right now, not much. Over here, I got my supplements. I'll go into that later. Got some peanut butter, got the oatmeal. Just got this new blender, pretty stoked about that today. Ton of bananas. Open up the fridge. Got tons and tons of fruit, mandarin oranges, apples. This thing, I don't know what this thing is. Hold on, where's it look? So this thing says, it's a pomelo. And it looks like, it looks like a, a bigger, softer cantaloupe. Like a, I, and I have no idea what it is, but it's a pomelo. And look, so it gives you like, focus. It gives you instructions how to cut it. It looks like an orange almost, but it says it's from China. And it kind of looks like a, a grapefruit. I have no idea what this is. So I'm really excited to try it. I just saw it at the grocery store and it was like a deal, like to get one for like $2. I'm like, all right, I gotta try this out. So I got that, there's the pomelo. I got some bell peppers. Um, I got some sweet potatoes, bananas, Greek yogurt. And here I got some apples. And this bin, I got some carrots and some grapes. Over here, I got ketchup and some fatame milch in the freezer. Let's open this bad boy up. Freezer, I got some bananas for some smoothies that I'm gonna make in that new blender over there. And a lot of frozen strawberries because I'm a big strawberry banana smoothie kind of guy. 
and I'm actually starting a brand new diet plan. I counted up all my macronutrients. I counted up my calories because I've been losing a little bit of weight because um, I've just been traveling and really haven't had a set schedule, set lifting plan and set meals. So I've lost a little bit of muscle mass and I've actually gained a little bit of fat, not nothing much, uh, but it's still for me, it, it, I just, I don't like it. So I'm gonna start this full new meal plan tomorrow. I'm gonna run you through the entire meals, every single meal. It's a five meal a day thing, um, but I got everything so far. And yeah, I've calculated it all out, my macronutrients so that I get the set number of protein, fats, and carbohydrates that I need for my whole day in order to gain lean muscle mass. So I calculated it all out. If you guys want to learn how to calculate it, I outline it completely in, oops, my water's boiling. I outline it completely in, let me turn this down. I outline it completely in my customized gold package and it's also available for my elite challenge members. So go ahead, look that up. I'll even help you out if you guys really need help with that and you're my elite challenge member. I'm gonna show you the bedroom. So this is like where I'm gonna sleep basically. It's pretty cool. Got those like skylights because I'm on the, the top floor. Right now I'm just sleeping on this little cot. And then you come over here. And this is where I keep all my clothes. It's technically a TV stand, but I'm using it as a dresser. So I got all the stuff in there. Let's go back out. Come back out. So you've got the kitchen again. And this is my office. So I got a second bedroom here. This is actually supposed to be the bedroom. But I was like, you know what? I think that room's way cooler. And I want to spend my majority of the time in there with the skylights coming in to wake me up and stuff. And here I was like, I think I can get work done, looking out a cool window and stuff. It's 11 at night, so you can't see anything, but there's some really cool German buildings out there, which I think I've already showed you. But yeah, I can get some work done and eat there. And yeah, so this is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna show you this meal. It's pretty much just chicken, rice, and, and some probably, I don't know, some, some fruit probably. I really thought it out, but tomorrow I'm gonna to show you all five meals and really show you what I eat for the whole day. I'm also gonna get up really early to go work out. I don't know why, but I've had this like craving to go work out at like five in the morning. And yeah, so tomorrow I'm going, waking up at five, no, 4.45 in the morning to go work out just because I'm one of those guys that I really like being in the zone when I work out and I, for me, I can do that better when there's just no one else around and I can really just think about it by myself. I can do whatever machines I want. I can grab as many dumbbells as I want, take all the weight, not that I'm using it all, <laughs> but I can, I can just have my own space. I'm not crowded, I'm not waiting. And so that really helps me. So I'm gonna try it out. Go, I'm gonna wake up at like 4.45 tomorrow and then go lift and I'll come back and probably fall back asleep or something. But yeah, that's the plan. I'll take you guys through it. I'm gonna eat dinner and then probably just go straight to bed. Well, what's up guys? 4.50 in the morning. I just woke up. I'm about to make my first meal of the day and then just get ready for the gym. So I usually never wake up this early to go to the gym. So I'm not, I don't wanna make it seem like I always wake up at 4, 4, 4.50, 4.45 in the morning so I can get a good workout in in the morning. I just, I, for some reason, you know, like while I'm in Germany, I just kind of want to seize this chance of not having any real schedule besides just playing soccer and kind of just working out whenever I want to work out. So I just want to try out different things, you know, see if I like waking up this early, just do that. I just had it. I was kind of motivated in the last year or so. So yeah, I'm going to go to the gym and just see if I like working out this early, see how the gym is, if it's packed, if it's busy, if or if it's completely empty and I liked it. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Doing back today, yeah, because I did chest yesterday and legs the day before. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. So my first meal of the day is gonna be a protein shake and a high potassium fruit salad in yogurt. So I just realized that I need to make this protein shake with the blender and it's 4.45 in the morning. So my new neighbors might not be too happy about it. 
So I'm gonna wrap some sweatshirts around it to hopefully muffle the sound a little bit. So lesson learned, I'm now gonna make the shake the day before, put it in the refrigerator so then I don't have to make it and piss off all my neighbors at five in the morning. So yeah, okay, <laughs> lesson learned. So the first thing I do is I do one and a half scoops of just whey protein powder. I just, I don't even know what kind of type it is, SciTech Nutrition, but one and a half scoops of protein powder right into my blender. This thing is just like a, a magic bullet almost if you've seen those things. It's like the German magic bullet. So you just make your own like one person smoothie or shake. So one and a half scoops of protein, that's like 30 grams right there of protein. Next, just a full banana. Then two tablespoons of peanut butter. That's about two tablespoons, I think. I have no clue about measuring stuff. You guys are probably at like, like, dude, that's like six tablespoons. Or you'll be like, dude, that's like not even half a tablespoon. I have no idea what a tablespoon is. I just do it based on how much peanut butter I think I'd like. I think that's a good amount. Lastly, oops. So then you have protein, banana, some peanut butter, and lastly, I just use my protein scooper because I don't have a, a measure, but you do one and a half cups of oatmeal. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen oatmeal in a protein shake. So you guys might be like, what the hell is this guy doing putting oatmeal in a protein shake? It makes it taste, it really makes it pretty thick. And it's actually, I thought the same thing, that it'd be crazy to put oatmeal in a protein shake until I saw this diet plan. And I saw um, some other kind of like bodybuilders do it. I was like, you know what? That's actually a good idea, you, because I hate eating oatmeal. I I hate oatmeal. I hate most of those boring foods, especially because oatmeal is only good if you have tons and tons of sugar, but then it's not good for you anymore. So I I can't stand eating that. Like even just a cup of oatmeal, I just my I chew it just like, mm, mm. and this way I can throw in like one and a half cups of oatmeal, two cups of oatmeal in my smoothie, blend it all up, and then you can't even tell it's in there but then you get all your grains that you need for the morning. It's great, I love it, because this shake has 30 grams of protein at least, probably about 35 with all that peanut butter, tons of healthy grains from the oatmeal. You have peanut butter, so all the fatty acids that you want, and then I'm also gonna throw in some water, which I'm just gonna show you. So I get water, carbohydrates from the grain, I get fatty acids from the peanut butter, and protein. So I'm hitting all of my three macronutrients and a morning shake and it's and it tastes really good and I can down it in like five minutes, it's super quick. And I'm also going to pair that with um, high potassium fruit salad and yogurt. So it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna show you the end meal and all that stuff. Doesn't that look yummy? I wanna do as much pre-blending as possible so people don't hate me at five in the morning. Use my sound muffler as best I can. <laughs> do you guys think this is even gonna work? Or am I just an idiot? All right, here I go. I'm just kidding, it's really good. <laughs> and actually my diet only asks for um, about 90 grams of yogurt, and this is 150. So I'm doing a little bit too much yogurt, whatever. With the whole diet plan, I really almost kind of take like a bodybuilder approach where I calculate exactly like my macronutrients, what I need to really get my calories the right way. 
and it's not that I'm like really trying to become a bodybuilder. It's just that, I don't know. I've always thought that if you want to gain weight, why wouldn't you calculate exactly how much food you need? And then you can track it so you can see if you're on track to gain weight, if you're on track to maintain, or if you're on track to lose fat. It just makes sense to me now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have some pre-workout just to wake up. I wouldn't really recommend pre-workout if you're under 18. It's just, it's like the same thing as coffee. So, you know, it's the same thing. If you aren't drinking coffee because you're too young, you shouldn't have be having pre-workout. And if you get a safe pre-workout, it's fine with the caffeine. Um, so I just do one and a half scoops pre-workout. And then a little bit of creatine in there as well. Just to, because I throw in a little bit of creatine monohydrate in there as well because it's been shown that if you take creatine before a workout, it gives you a little bit more energy for your lifts. And then finally, I supplement that with two fish oil pills. Now fish oil pills are like the, the best supplement that you can take because in your American diets and in our American diets, we just don't eat the amount of fish that we need. And so then we don't get the omega-3 fatty acids that we need. And unless you're eating like fish like three times a week, pretty consistently, you're, you're not hitting these. And omega-3s are vitally, vitally important to your health and can help give you good amounts of cholesterol and really just kind of monitor your, your, uh, your whole heart and everything like that. So. Omega-3 fatty acids if you don't eat three fish servings in a week and I don't and that's something I know about myself And so, you know, obviously the real food the real salmon is gonna be better than the pill But you know, I don't I just don't eat that much fish So I recognize that and I then I supplement my diet with what I'm missing with two fish oil pills So I'm gonna take that with my pre-workout. So after breakfast, I have two fish oil pills and um, my pre-workout drink just to wake me up for, and get me ready for the gym. And I'm gonna drink this and then head out for my day. So I'm in no way telling you that you should do these supplements that I do. These are just what I found that work for me. I've talked to my doctor about all of these and we've kind of built up a program of supplements between my doctor, myself, and my weightlifting and nutrition coaches from college and just from the professional world. So I've built up this diet, you know, being smart about it. I'm not just adding stuff in there because I feel like it. I don't go to GNC and, and find the flashiest thing and throw it in like, oh, I need this. And uh, or don't do it based off recommendations from other people or friends. So you shouldn't take my um, advice, you know, just literally and do exactly what I do because this is what my body needs. And this is what I've found to work for me. So I'm just sharing that with you guys. I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a nutritionist. And so you really shouldn't take this like I'm telling you to do it. And I want that to be clear. So I walked down to the bus stop, barely made it. Bus came at 535, hopped on that. It's like a 10 minute bus ride right here. And then it's a 50 minute, or not 50 minute, 50 meter walk straight to my uh, my gym. And so that's why, you know, that's what I absolutely love about Germany is that I'm in the next, I'm in technically a village over from Gießen. I'm in Rodgen, um, but I can hop on, I can walk 300 meters to a bus stop, hop on it for 10 minutes and then get off right down the street from my gym. And that's, that's crazy to me because in America, you know, everything's so spread out. You drive 20 minutes to the gym. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, so I'm about to go in the gym and do some uh, back and buys. 